Hi folks, it's Rob from the Brush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to paint Sister Superior Amalia Novena. First colour that we're going to use is Vallejo Flesh Base. We're going to use that to do Amalia's face. It's quite a good colour this because it's very smooth to go on. So you don't have to worry about getting streaks. Like so. Next up, we're going to be using Citadel and the Fist on Red. And that is mainly to do the robes. Now you can see inside there that before I've put it together, I've done a little bit of red on the inside of both of these cloths. One on the front and the one on the back. And that's because I wasn't too sure whether I'd be able to reach them once we'd started to put the model together. So if you've not built it yet and you're watching this before you actually put yours together, whatever colour you're doing this, just give it the base coat and maybe the shade while it's sub-assembled. The next colour that we're going to use is Citadel Retributor Armour. We're going to be using this mainly to do a lot of the little icons and the decorations that she's got on her. While you're doing this bit you can also do the bolts in the magazine on her bolter reason to say this is because you'll notice that I don't and I have to do it later on towards the very end of the video so if you do it now you can skip the two little sections later on next up it's Citadel Lead Belcher now there's plenty of tubes and different decorations on it that we're going to use this for so we're going to start with the bolter get that one painted up and do the rest of the decorations around their person come back we'll have all the lead belts are finished. Next we're going to be using Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. We're going to be using this to paint the corset in the middle there. I actually undercoated this model in Mechanica Standard Grey initially and then went back over and painted the armour with black because it ran out of black spray paint. So that's why some parts are black and some parts are grey. Next colour is going to be Citadel Rakarth Flesh. This is going to be to do all the parchments on the purity seals. like so. Next up we have Citadel Wasdaka Red. We're going to use this to do the seals and also to do the candles which are on our base. Now you might notice here that she's no longer blue tack down. I've actually glued her to the base. I found that trying to use a blue tack and then paint up she was wobbling all over the show so I bit the bullet and just stuck her down. Might not be quite as easy to paint the sides of the candles and the sides of her legs, but it's not too much of a hassle. Next up, we're going to be using Citadel Xerius Purple. This is just to do the roses on the base. like so. Now we're going to be using a little bit of German Cam Bright Green and this is going to be to do the leaves just around those roses. like so. Next up it's a little bit of Citadel Mornfang Brown. I'm going to use this to do all the pouches on her waist. 
Now there are a lot of great details on this model as you're going through. Loads of little decorations and iconography that you can really go to town on if you want to. Next up, we're going to be using a little bit of Vallejo White. We're going to use this to do the iconography on the shoulders and her hair. When you're looking at the iconography on the left shoulder pad there, I wasn't really too sure what it was. It looks like the eye with the wings on it, but couldn't quite tell when we came to paint it. Next up, we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Rakarth Flesh, and we're just going to do the whole base with this. I'm using an old brush here, so you can spread it about really easily. Get that nice smooth layer on with the minimum of effort. The reason we're painting this now instead of when we did the parchments is because originally I was going to paint them separately and do the base at the end, but as it happens, I glued them together. Now we're going to start doing the shades. We're going to start with Citadel Cassandora Yellow. And this is just going to be to do about the top three quarters of the flames. Like so. The next shade is going to be Citadel Seraphim Sepia. Now we're going to do all of the parchments and also the entire base with this. When I say the entire base, I mean the stone part, I don't mean the flowers and the candles and what have you. This will be finished on the next part. Now we're going to be using Citadel Fugant Orange. We're going to be using this to do the top half of each of the little flames. Like so. Next up it's Citadel Carobird Crimson. We're going to do the top quarter of the flames and also all of the candles and the purity seals. Like so. Now we have Nuln Oil from Citadel. I'm going to use this to do all the silver metallics. Now when you come to do Nuln Oil on the corset, I did one layer, let it dry, and then did another layer, and let it dry, just so you've got that nice darkened look that the official model's got. Remember to give time to let it dry before you put on a second layer, or it will wipe some of the original layer off. Now we're going to be having a little bit of Citadel BL Tang Green. It's just to do the leaves on the base. Like so. Now we're going to be using Citadel Drucci Violet Shade, and this is to do the roses. I usually do the robes in this as well and paint the cloaks with the red. But for a bit of change, I thought I'd use the Carabird Crimson just to make it a slightly different red when it's finished, so 
she doesn't blend in with every other red, which is on different models. Next we're going to use Rikon Flesh Shade, just on her face. Like so. Next up is Citadel Agrax Earth Shade that we're going to use on all the golden areas. Just going to do the pouches as well, with the icons and the candle holders at the bottom. like so. Now we're going to return to colouring the miniature. We're going to start with Citadel Rakarth Flesh and start working on the base. So on all the flat flags and the fleur de lis, you want to be getting quite a smooth coat of this on. And then when you're going on to the slightly mottled sections of the base, you want to be doing not quite a dry brush but maybe a wet brush to get that so it's got the mottled kind of effect, leaving some of the shade in the smaller recesses. While the rest of it's got the flat colour, you'll see that on the next part. We've added a little bit of white to the Rakarth flesh, and I'm going to do a bit of a highlight on that. You can see we're applying the next layer onto the slightly mottled section, so it's getting a, a bit of a light kind of dry brush over that. Now we're going to start applying the proper colour using a better brush just to highlight certain areas that will be catching the light to make it stand out a bit. Now we've just added a little bit more white to the previous mix we're just going to add one final highlight to the base. This is mainly going to be a dry brush over the edges just to make them stand out a little bit more. That can be quite a bit of a dull process to do this layer, I thought, but it's worth it once you've finished. Next up, we're going to be using Citadel Retributor Armour. We're going to reapply the gold to all the iconography. Well, to be honest, if you really wanted to, you could probably leave the miniature once you've done the shades, maybe pick out a few details on it. It wouldn't look too bad like that. But if you do want to give it that little bit of extra, you can add all the rest of the layers just to bring all the colours back out. So, next up we're using Citadel Liberator Gold to highlight all of the Retributor arm we've just applied. So you really want to be doing the edges of things and where it catches the light. Now when you do the edges, you don't want it to be just on the very edge because we're going to be applying one more highlight. So you want to do it slightly further in. As you can see, it does help them catch the light and make them stand out a little bit better.
like so. For the final gold highlight, we've mixed a little bit of Vallejo Modeler Chrome with the Liberator Gold, and we're just going to do edge highlights and little spots of highlight all around these on each of the gold parts, just to give it that final little bit of shine. Now we're going to start working on the red. We're going to return to Citadel Mephist on red and start working on the loincloth. Also going to be working on the sleeves. Now the sleeves have the little white trim to it so it does look a little bit like Santa Claus when you're painting this but it does look good at the end result. I only paint these as though the light is coming from above and catching all the ridges. So as the layers go on, they'll get lighter and lighter on those ridges. Now we've just added some Citadel Fire Dragon Bright to the Mephist on red. We're going to start with the first layer of highlights. So again, you want to be catching all the areas where light will be catching it. Making sure that you leave some of the Mephist on red showing through around it. You don't just want this going straight to the recesses unless it's like an extreme highlight on the edge of something. I'll come back and we'll finish the last highlight on this area. I've added a little bit more Fire Dragon Bright to the previous mix and we are just going to highlight this one more time. Just doing the very edges of the areas we've already highlighted, just to give it that final lighter shade. Here we're doing just underneath each of the little buttonholes. Now we're moving on to Citadel Wasdaka Red. I'm going to use this to do the candles and the purity seals just to get the colours back on those. I do like this red for doing the candles. It's just got that kind of waxy look I think once it's been painted on over the shade. I'm going to follow that by adding a little bit of white to the Wasdaka red, just to do highlights on these. It is good to be really careful when you're painting the drips on the candles, mainly because they do bring a lot out into the model, so if, the, if you cover the shade on them and it just becomes sort of like a one coloured candle rather than having the ridges in the different colours, it doesn't look as good, but if you can manage to gently do and carefully do all the little runs keep the shades around them you do get a really nice kind of 3d look to it makes them look really really good now we're going to use some Vallejo white and that is going to be used to do the trim on her robes and also the detailing on the shoulder pads although I'll end up doing that a bit later on also her hair When you are doing the hair you may need to do, give it two layers, but if you need to because it's streaky then do so. Now going back to the flowers, we're going to be using Citadel Jean Steeler Purple just to add a little bit of a highlight to each of these purple roses. I'm 
like so. And we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Emperor's Children. And that's just to do the final highlight on the roses. Like so. Next, we're going to be moving on to Vallejo German Cam Bright Green. And this is just to reapply a little bit of colour to the leaves. Like so. Working on the skin now, we're going to go on to Vallejo Flesh Base and reapply that, making sure that you leave some of the Reichland Flesh Shade in the recesses. Now if you do happen to go into any of the recesses with any of the colours, just remember to apply a little bit more of the shade where that is and then carry on. Doesn't really matter too much if you do. You can always reshade it later. Now to highlight that, the first highlight is going to be a little bit of Vallejo white mixed in with the flesh base, just to lighten it, and then we're just going to highlight all the areas that would be catching the light if it was shining down from above. Like so. Now for the next highlight we're going to use a little bit of Vallejo white mixed in with the previous mix and I'm just going to highlight the previous highlights that we've put on this. Like so. Next up we're going to be using a little bit of pure Vallejo white and with that we're going to be doing the eyes. As always, if you manage to go over the lines or anything like that with this one, just reshade, reapply some flesh base and crack on. Next up we're using Vallejo Black and we're just going to be doing the pupils in the eyes. Now this can sometimes take a few goes to get. If you do the pupils and they're not how you want them, just repaint the white over them and try again. It is really just practice to try and get them in the right places and I do still get them wrong a lot of the time. Probably most of the time. Now we're moving on to the parchments. So we're going to start with Citadel Ricard Flesh and reapply some of that colour to the parchments on the purity seals. like so. Now we're going to use Vallejo White just to lighten the Ricard flesh and apply the first highlight to the parchment. Like so. And we're going to be adding a little bit more white to the previous mix. I'm just doing one final highlight on the parchments here. As always, you can try to get the sections that look like they'd catch the light more than the others. So if there's any ridges, you want to be highlighting those ridges, any bits that stick out. And 
like so. Next up is a little bit of Vallejo Modeler Chrome. I'm going to apply some shine to what looks like rosary beads. Just to bring them up and make sure they're really, really gleaming. You can also do the studs down the back of uh, robes here. I do them at the very, very, very end. But while you've got the chrome out, you may as well do them now. Now I'm going to be using the Leo black, and this is just to redo all the black on the armor and on the bolt gun, just to make sure that everything's got that nice matte black finish that we want to start working on. Next up, we're going to use a little bit of Necron Compound. We're going to use this just to do the edges of the bolt gun and also the edges of the silver, just to bring out a bit of shine on those. When using Necron Compound, you want to get a little bit on your brush, rub the excess off onto a bit of paper, and then just lightly dry brush that over the top, and that will really, really bring a shine to all the metallics. Now I'm going to use a little bit more Retributor armour. I mentioned this earlier, this is just to do the bolts in the magazine. Like so. And next we're just going to shade those with a little bit of Citadel Agraxa shade. You get a little bit too much in like I have done there, you can just use the brush to get that back out again. Next up we're going to be using a little bit of Citadel Lead Belcher. I'm going to use that to do the Fleur de Lis on the front of a bodice there, and also the studs going down each side. Like so. Now we're going on to a little bit of Citadel Caribou Crimson. We're just going to use this to add a little bit of colour to the scar on the left side of her face and also to add a little bit of colour to her lips like so now going back to the armour we're going to be using the Leo German Grey to do the first highlight so as always you want to try and get the areas that are going to be catching the light more and also any ridges on the armour you want to be doing the top edges of any ridges so they're catching the light shining down from above. When we come back we'll have all that finished. Now we've mixed a little bit of Citadel Mechanicus Standard Grey with the German Grey and we're now just going to highlight those parts again. Like so. Now we're just going to use a little bit of Vallejo Black. I'm going to use this to do the writing on the parchments for the purity seals. That's a little bit off camera there. So there we have it. We're also going to use this to do the little tattoo on her cheek, the little fleur de lis. I'm using a slightly thinner brush here. I'm using the Army Painter Wargamer Character Brush. It's 
got a slightly smaller point than the medium layer brush. That's that part done. And now we're just going to add some white to the shoulder pads, which as I mentioned earlier, you can do this at the same time as you do the hair and also the white parts on the robes, but I failed to do that, so I'm doing it now instead. As you can see there, there's a little blotch just over two of the pieces of the wing. So what I do from this is, once I've finished all the white, I just go back with a little bit of null oil and just draw a line of that between those two pieces to separate them. It's all good. With that layer, that is the finished Amalia Novena. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also think about subscribing to some of our other social media, link below. Thanks very much.